The end could soon be near for a program that's acted as a catalyst for growth in downtown Roanoke. The program lets developers deduct up to 20% of renovation costs from their taxes. The future of the program, which total more than $300 million, all depend on next month's congressional decision. 10 News reporter Tommy Lopez shows us what eliminating the program could mean for the future of downtown Roanoke. About 15 years ago, downtown Roanoke looks nothing like it does today. About 2,000 people live here now. Shops and restaurants have moved in. There are large events, and it all signals a change in the culture. Yeah, it's really diverse. Uh, it's really nice to come down here. It's improved a lot since I moved away. It's a lot more restaurants and a lot more like pretty nice apartments. Immense things for the area. I think it's going to. I think it's going to continue to grow too. Lawmakers in Washington returned to work this week, saying before Christmas they're going to consider cutting the historic tax credit program, which Roanoke Economic Development Director Wayne Bowers says has affected everyone in the area. All of us in the entire Roanoke Valley have a stake in downtown. The program makes it less expensive for developers to renovate buildings like Center in the Square. The first few what we call pioneers who did the first projects proved that it could be economically feasible. Ed Walker was the developer who got the ball rolling. One of his projects has been the old Patrick Henry Hotel. It was finished in 2011. He said it'd be a parking lot if not for these tax credits. This building now has apartments, office spaces, and a restaurant. It's more than one of 100 projects in the last 13 years to make use of the program. Well, others followed suit and uh, at some point it did snowball and the fact that uh, we've seen a real explosion of downtown living. City leaders all over our area, including in Roanoke, have voiced support for keeping the program. Roanoke City Council member John Garland's company has redeveloped many buildings using the credits. It's been phenomenal. It's almost too much to describe. None of these would have been financially feasible had it not been for tax credits. Among the potential future projects that could hinge on the program's help are the old Hieronymus building and the historic fire station on Church Avenue. The program pays for itself. Studies show the government takes in more in taxes than it spends assisting the projects. In Roanoke, Tommy Lopez, 10 News working for you. Local Republican representatives at both the federal and state level say they support keeping the program, but lawmakers representing Virginia in the U.S. House all voted to cut it.